Hello and welcome back to Bug Rounds. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly so if that's something that interests you please consider subscribing to the channel. So today we are going to be talking about Uthicas. Now what is an Uth? An Uth is essentially an egg case and specifically the one we're going to be talking about today is one from a praying mantis. Now it's not just mantids that do lay Uthicas, cockroaches and related insects do so too. So here we have an Uthica, right here, just an egg case. Now this is from the giant Kenyan praying mantis. I will put the scientific name on the screen for you here because I can never remember that one. Um, now in a moment, I'm actually going to cut this open and we're gonna have a look at what an Uthica looks like inside. We're gonna have a look at a little bit more detail of this, purely because I've never done it before. Now, before you panic, before you panic, this is infertile. Do not, I repeat, do not cut open an Uthica that is fertile. Now I know it's infertile because she is not mated and she is also not parthenogenic, meaning she cannot produce live young without mating. But before we look at what's inside this one, she actually laid a second mini infertile Uth. And I managed to catch that on camera for you. Let's take a look at that first. So there we have it. I'm sorry the quality wasn't great on that. I really didn't want to disturb her, even though it was infertile, I didn't want to cause her stress. So I was trying to very carefully maneuver the enclosure and where condensation had built up inside from the heat that was coming out from my window there, it kind of fogged up the camera. So I do apologize, but it was still pretty cool to see, right? Now I'm gonna go take this downstairs and you're coming with me and we're gonna cut this baby open and see what it looks like on the inside. So here it is. Now these can look very different. This one looks kind of greenish and weird and you can see where it was laid against the ventilation at the top of the enclosure that she used to be in. Um, and it would hang upside down like so. Now all these do look different, different species produce different oofs and you also get different sizes. Now, they've got a very spongy feel it's like uh, like foam almost, or polystyrene. It's very, very peculiar. So let's see what happens when we cut one open. Oh, I don't like that crunch. I've zoomed you out there because I'm maneuvering around too much. Let's, oh, it's solid. Didn't expect that. I might have to break it with my hands. It really is like pulling apart a piece of foam. Perhaps I need a serrated knife for this. Now that is very interesting. Let's have a closer look. So there we have it. The two halves, this bit being what was on the inside there. Look at that. It's almost like breaking open a geode. You know when you've got those crystal geodes? It's got those kind of layers inside, which I'm guessing would be the casing for each of the little mantids there. Now, I don't really know much about them. So if anyone wants to provide more information on the inside of an oof, please feel free to comment below. But you've got to admit, that is pretty cool, right? You can sort of stretch them out a little bit. And the other piece we chopped off. Now this may seem like a bit of an odd video to some, but I always wanted to see what was inside and I thought, why not film it for you guys? I mean, there must be a few of you that have thought the same. What's inside a mantis ooth? That is so, so cool. 
So there we have it. I'm sorry to anyone that might have thought this video was a little bit dull or a little bit quick, but as I said, curiosity. You know, why not share it with you guys at home? So I do have one more question now. What could we do with an infertile oof? Aside from cut it open, I mean. Do we got any ideas of something that we could do? Perhaps we could pop one on maybe a chain and make a sort of necklace out of one or onto a bracelet if it's a small oof or something like that. And it's a little bit feminine for me to wear, but I don't know, it would be cool to kind of do something. Maybe we can seal it and make a key ring with the next infertile leaf or something like that. I don't know, drop me your ideas below. And if I think it's a cool idea, maybe we'll make a video on doing something like that. I don't know, you guys let me know. Anyway, if you want to see what else dwells within the realm, make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. That's going to be it from me today. Have a good one, guys. See you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.